our program of Catholic institutions. I am your presenter, Sister Christine. We are focusing on the missionary sisters of the Precious Blood. Precious Blood sisters run several projects, like the Nina Wamumbi Dispensary, street children's centers, poultry farming, and the establishment of the many prestigious schools like the Precious Blood Ruta here in Kenya and many more others in Tanzania. In this episode of Catholic Institutions, we are focusing on the sewing project and poultry farming of the Missionary Sisters of the Precious Blood. Sewing involves a great deal of measurements which must be accurate. It also involves a lot of dedication and creativity. It is a busy industry. They maintain hard work, ensuring that they meet the client's demands while working with great passion. At this sewing project of the Missionary Sisters of the Precious Blood, they make a variety of clothing, as Sister Esther Mary explains. My name is Sister Esther Mary, Missionary Sisters of the Precious Blood. I'm seamstress. We do make uniforms, different designs in different types for different schools, or in our own school and in the schools nearby. We do make like wrapper rounds for P, dresses, shorts, skirts, and blouses. This is the machine for cutting clothes. And you can cut as many as possible. Per day you can cut even 500. When you are making like blouses or shirts or dresses, it simplifies the work. Also, we need sweaters for kids, for secondary schools, and for anybody who wants a sweater. We need also legumes and scarves and marbles. We do get order from different schools like Dika, Machakos, Kiambu, and here Nairobi. Kama unaitaji kutengenezewa nguo 
kwa ajili ya matumizi ya nyumbani kama vile jikoni hata na za mtu yoyote uwe mwanaume au mwanamke unaweza kutupigia kwa kupitia namba 07 15 57 56 Unaweza kupata katika maeneo ya Kawangware Precious Blood Reruta As we continue with the program let us explore more on poultry farming Poultry products, both meat and eggs, provide rich protein that is required for the body. Hence, many have ventured into this poultry farming, and precious blood sisters have not been left behind. Here, the chicken are fed naturally, as Sister Esther explains. My name is Sister Esther Nana, National Sister of the Precious Blood. Uh, we, as Precious Blood Sisters, we have started this project of the cookies because we want to have quality meat, quality eggs, and to do that, we just feed them, we prevent them from getting illnesses that we don't need to give them medicine, antibiotics and all this. Whatever medicine they get is only immunization and that's all. So we have somewhere where we disinfect our feet before we get into the house. And uh, we have broilers which we rear for meat and layers which we get explored. The moment we have only 160 chicks, which takes five weeks to mature the meat. William Gige is the manager of this farm. I'm William Gige, the manager at Precious Blood Sisters Poultry Farm. Uh, I have a passion for, you know, poultry, birds, and also domestic animals. We receive the birds when they are a day old. So we get them a few hours after they are hatched. So I'm with them from day one to maturity. Um, I try my best so that we can produce quality birds used for meat and quality eggs. Our eggs are very natural, no added supplements, maybe to make the eggs bigger. They are naturally just the way they are laid. The chicken are also natural. We only feed them on the feeds we get from our feed providers, Unga. They are very natural. We don't add anything else. We have heard of birds which are injected with hormones and other things that make them big, but ours are very natural. So we can get our birds from our farm here at Precious Blood. I'm here all the time, every day I'm here to serve you. The farm has been able to serve many people of different calibers and status, like those running small businesses, retail shops, hotels, schools, religious communities and families around Kawangware. <music> oh.
Owing to the big demand of eggs and poultry meat, the missionary sisters of the precious blood seek to expand its production. We want to add, because so many people are in need of these eggs and they are coming to collect and they don't have enough. 